have here a simple yet quite magical box from the museum's collection. It's about 200 years old, it folds down into a neat package, yet once opened up, like it is now, there's nothing inside. But with this box, we can capture the world outside perfectly by projecting, without using any power, what's on the outside down into a darkened space on the inside. Now, it's not really magical, of course. It's an object called a camera obscura, but the result definitely is quite magical. So let's see how it works. We have here this rather theatrical looking curtain, and here there's a panel with a lens in it. And this lens focuses the light for an object or a scene out here, down onto a mirror on the inside. So let's have a look what's going on inside. The word camera is Latin for chamber or room, and obscura means dark, so what we have here is a dark room. A very simple version of this would use a tiny hole to focus the light, but by using a lens, we have a bigger hole or aperture, so we get a much brighter image. So what happens is the light comes in through the lens, it hits a mirror that's set at 45 degrees behind here, and then projects the scene on the outside down onto the base inside the camera. It's sharp, colourful, bright and live, rather like a little video feed of the world outside. Now, not only is this quite magical, but it's also really useful, because if we place a piece of paper into the camera, we can start to sketch the scene outside in incredibly accurate detail. And later, this sketch might be turned into a painting that would capture beautifully the perspective of the scene in front of the camera. Now the camera obscura is really useful for making drawings, but it is only focusing and reflecting the light, it's not capturing it. And the next big leap, beginning in the 19th century, was to use an object like the camera obscura and combine it with material that would alter when exposed to light and preserve the image. This is the earliest known photograph, taken in 1826 or 1827 by Joseph Niepce. He used a camera obscura and put inside a chemically coated plate to capture the image. So the camera obscura really is a rather magical box after all. Using just a hole and some light, we have the basis for all photography, including, believe it or not, the camera in your phone.